Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the rec room. This is the uh, special little place you get to explore when you uh, beat the full game and you enter in the correct password. Um, you can get this password by whenever you go to see Onigawara to save. If you scroll down three times, uh, there will be something below that, and then he'll reveal the password to come in. But yeah, this is pretty much the extras room where they explain characters and whatnot. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Thank you for playing Masao. It was loaded with silly traps, but still, did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. It was a great story, and yeah, I got pissed off <laughs> at a few of the things, but uh, a great story can, you know, get such emotions out of you. I'm glad if you enjoyed it. Enjoy the rec room. No, stop. Sure, I'll save you. Ah, uh, yes, what will it be? Hmm, about Onigawara. Onigawara is a real mystery. Maybe the truth on him will never fully come to light. He's certainly not human, we can say that. Some of Masao's parts, i.e. her torso, didn't need to be found because Onigawara already sacrificed them in advance. So goes the rumor. Hmm, that's interesting. Onigawara Design Secrets Initially, I simply made Onigawara because I needed a save point. I agonized over whether to make him chairman of the board or student council president. His original name was Onizuka. I made it Onigawara to be a little more unusual. I just wanted to have Oni in there. Laughs. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> well noticed. As a reward, I shall show you these scrapped face sprites. Oh, cool. They look a bit different, but not too different. <laughs> the first version was made for fun in the author's spare time. It's rough around the edges, but look at the big picture. Yeah, heh <laughs> Okay. Please be my friend. About library. Similar to Onigawara, library is a mystery. She's not human either. She seems to be Onigawara's servant. She has a fear of humans and only listens to Aki because she smelled like her. Ah, uh, maybe Aki's not human. Well now. Oh yeah, there's something else. Library design secrets. Library is made to give out hints. I couldn't think of a good name, so I let the player decide. Novella was my idea. She was going to murder Toma initially. There are traces of that in Toma's ending up in the library that if you play the boy in version 2. If you haven't seen it, I hope you enjoy it when you do. It's just a minor thing. Don't get your hopes up. Oh lord. Common event donors. Some credits. Listen carefully to my lecture. No, I will not. About Sota. A mysterious, suave teacher, but he's really a murderer with a dark past. Sota was suspicious from the start. Maybe lots of people predicted he was bad news. Yeah. Yeah, probably. This doesn't really impact the story, but Soda wasn't ever attacked because the evil spirits were too scared to come near him. <laughs> and that's because Masao feared Soda. Masao and the spirits are linked in a sense. Not completely one and the same, as they attack people as she that la, la, la. not completely one and the same, as they attack people she has nothing against. Aki killing Soda was unexpected to Masao. Maybe Masao thought sacrificing Toma would make for a happier outcome. By killing Toma, he'd be hers forever, but killing Soda put him in a grave forever. Either way, Masao's spirit is saved. However, sacrificing Toma is likely Masao's spirit would never move on. Okay. 
This game was based on the concept of finding scattered parts of a girl with characters and story, then added. The author watched lots of big horror flicks, so there's some influence there. There's something the author wishes to tell everyone through this game, and that is... Watch out for creeper teachers. Yes. Yes. That's a good piece of advice. Wh why you? When I get out of here, I'll... About Yoshino. Yoshino is really just a coward. She only bullies those weaker than her. That's why Sotome, with more friends and charm, is exempt from her wrath. Someone to like Toma... No. Seemed to like Toma despite his girlfriend. She has an unexpectedly earnest side. Okay. Yoshino designed secrets. Being a bully was set from the start, so she looks like a mean character. I think she looks more like a delinquent than a bully. Originally named Sasayama, her art was designed based on her sprites. So, that was pretty easy. Actually, most characters were designed from sprites. It ain't my fault. <laughs> but Toma. Toma is a trendy guy. He looks bad, but he brings in the ladies. But inside, he's the ultimate klutz. Even Aki is astounded at times. It must be the good looks that she didn't ditch him. Eh, maybe. <clears throat> he's left in the other world in the true ending. But, I leave it up to the players to imagine if he ever made it back or what. I like to think he stayed there, and he helped raise the kids. <laughs> he was utterly toiling. Toiling. He was utterly toying with Masao. He thought Sotome was a good girl too, but it's unlikely he was serious about her. Just like Ayaka says, he's nothing but a seducer. Seems he tried to seduce library while in the library. This becomes evident in the boy route. See for yourself how that turns out. Okay. The concept of hiding in a corpse actually comes from a foreign cartoon. Well, damn. Yeah, I'm scared about Sotome. Popular with many friends thanks to her good girl act, she certainly looks the part. She doesn't really hate Masao. Posting the text was just a joke, but dating Toma, she couldn't forgive. She might seem like a filthy broad. Oh. <laughs> she might seem like a flighty broad, but she really seemed to like Toma. Hmm. As soon as I knew Toma would have a girlfriend, there she was. Gold ponytail and big breasts. Name and nickname were decided from the start. I'm rather fond of Sotomi's face, right? Her clothes make her look like a secretary, though. Yeah, they kind of do. Mr. Soto's as suave as it. Are you serious? He killed you! Ah, oh, lord. Aki's best friend, natural stalker, a fad follower, and thus total doofus. She's the one character who's not two-faced. Revived in the true ending by Onigawara, she's fond of him, so she'll likely begin a new life of stalking in the other world. Oh god. Ayaka Design Secrets. A character created to reinforce Soda's... Yeah. Plus, the protagonist seems sort of friendless, so she's Aki's best friend to boot. She's the one I regret killing the most. That's why I revived her in the true ending. Laughs. Okay. Misao! Kudo is a character who's never rewarded, but in the true ending, his feelings save him. But was that last Misao real, or just another illusion? I'll let the players decide that one. Anyway, Kudo was like a big brother to Misao. No love involved, so no, Misao didn't hate Kudo, but Kudo's love was never requited. Kudo looks like a nice guy, but he's not so nice in personality. He's gloomy, and I bet he makes posts bad-mouthing people on the internet. <laughs> uh, bonus Kudo's hate rank. 1. Toma. 2. Yoshino. 3. Himself. Even here, Onigawara is hidden something. Looking for it. Oh. Even here, Onigawara is hidden something. Look for it if you like. 
I have, and I found it. <laughs> Can't believe that scoundrel, though. Pretending to be student council president. What a brat. <laughs> I like him. I think he's interesting and dreamy. Me and Miho are always together. A girl mentioned only by the name in the bad end. I actually had plans for a sequel with her once. Hmm. More honest than Aki. Without Miho, I'll be all alone again. The girl in the bad ending. Hmm. Maho is a vigorous girl. Miho is feeble, and thus clings to Maho. The two get along like twins. Oh, they look like twins, and their hair makes Christmas. Thank you for finding me. The tragic heroine, Masao, friendless and far away from family, she lived a lonely life. She fell for a man, her polar opposite. She longed for Toma, and maybe the feelings were mutual. She's an obedient girl, but hides a tricky personality inside. That said, she definitely wouldn't wish unhappiness on anyone when alive. She's likely the nicest of all the characters. Hmm. Horribly bullied, you know. Tragic heroine and all, forgive me for that, Miss Sal, but I had a story to write. Since it said she never stood out, I gave her a very simple design, but I was surprised by the response of her being seen as cute. Cause she is cute. <laughs> Miss Al being bullied by her classmates was there from the beginning, but most of the ending stuff was decided much later. Even I didn't think this would end up being a game that struggled to claim 15 and up laughs. For the characters, some inspiration was taken from Revelations, per so I mean, from my head. I like the lonely atmosphere. Did you know where a place to dodge be did you know there's a place to dodge between the polders? Yes. She's hiding somewhere. Look for her if you ever found her. Okay. Oh yeah, I did find her. She's behind the curtain. The most quickly offed character. Forgive me, Basau. Herk. <laughs> After killing Soda, his corpse is hidden. Look for it, please. Oh damn, I have to go look now. Don't touch my Toma. Straight out of a B-movie. Friends. No one accepts me. How many times are you gonna fall, lady? Yeah, seriously! She kept falling. They're passionately kissing. Get a room! What indeed was this machine? Even the author doesn't know. We're friends, aren't we? An ordinary question mark high school girl and problem child lives alone and off campus, unlike many other students tends to focus on one thing and ignore the rest. That aspect is the main reason she goes to certain lengths for Miss Al. Then the <clears throat> the I'll be the sacrifice line. Well, that was no joke. She really would be ready to die for Miss Al. That honest personality of hers might have been stopped in its tracks by Onigawara's glare. I'll always protect you. About male Aki. Okay. Another protagonist selectable for a second go had the same personality as girl Aki at first, but is a little more serious in the new version. I only wanted to draw Aki and Masao being friends in the true ending, so you can't choose him for that. No boys allowed! Okay. It was boring having an identical second playthrough, so I made him. Was going to make his default name Akito. Just his tone was different in the old version, so that was pretty pointless. 
the new version has some slight personality changes, so check them out. I definitely will. I won't be posting it, but <laughs> I'll definitely play it. Hey, you. Okay, and uh, I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, so that was the rec room. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you in my next playthrough. Laters. Thanks for visiting.